Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And with me is Mathieu Soré. Hello. Hello, friend. Alexander. You know him well. He is a product and heritage director at Jeger Le Coult or Jeger Le Coult as you want to <laughs> pronounce it. I leave it open. <laughs> yeah, both is possible. Yes. Um, Mathieu, we are going to discover an incredible watch. I'm thrilled. It is a watch on our tray here, 570 parts. Yes, yes. So this is the Master Hybris Artistica Calibre 945. Master? Hybris Artistica. Hybris Artistica. Calibre 945. An incredible caliber. It's already the name. <laughs> it's, ah, you feel the complexity already. Yes, already by the name. So, as always, a watch advisor, Mathieu and me, will disappear from your screen. The watch will be the star, and you will see everything in detail. We will try to explain you this incredible piece. Mathieu, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Once again, I'm really happy and uh, excited to be able to show you guys an absolutely well, stunning object, I have to say. Object showing the time, object showing much more than this. It's five pieces of this watch will ever be made, and here you see one of them. And with you, Mathieu, what exactly do we see on uh, the main dial of this oh, masterpiece? I'm almost speechless. When you look at it, you really are... <laughs> yes, blown away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite a stellar piece um, that we have today because, okay, it tells you the time with the hands, but it tells you the time of men. And, you know, I think we've been lied to, Alexander, because, in fact, we use the 24 hours... Uh, today as the time of man, but really, in reality, the Earth rotates in a little uh, slower motion than 24 hours. It rotates in 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. And actually, the dial of this piece, it makes a rotation around the watch in the time, which we, is called the sidereal time, meaning the time the Earth takes actually to spin on its axis, which is 23 hours. 56 minutes and 4 seconds. What is then displayed? We have a inner part. So we have an inner part that yeah. performs the rotation along with the flying tourbillon. The flying tourbillon cage. And, and yeah. uh, in fact, this inner part uh, shows you the exact position of the stars in the northern hemisphere. Corresponding to the time displayed. Corresponding to the wow. time and the date displayed, yes. Date displayed. So okay. this date, date is, there is, we cannot call the date displayed, but it, the date is on the outer ring. It's just to set the watch. It's very hard to read on it because we wanted to have a very beautiful dial, very open. So we would not display the date, of course, but it's just to set the date. And this watch is actually always correct. It displays the stars in the skies according to the date. Here you see on your screen a little sun and there is a preset being done to the 4th of April. And actually what Mathieu just said now in this ellipse, depending on the hour you read on the watch, you, this is what you would see in the sky. Actually it's day. Okay, you can't see anything, but at night, if you would take the watch, Mathieu. Yes. It's exactly, see. and it's in between the ellipse. The ellipse here. What you are seeing on your screen is what you see in the sky. The different constellations that you could discover in the sky. And actually the ellipse is based on a latitude, you know, because further you are up uh, north or down south, closer to the uh, the equator, uh, you see different uh, different shape of the sky, let's say, and here the ellipse is based on the latitude of Le Sentier, which is the home of Gégère Le Coultre. So it is close to the French border um, and a little bit, uh, yes, uh, in a northeasterly direction of Geneva. Exactly, exactly. I Very close from Geneva. Yeah. 
So this is what you would see here um, in the sky at night. So, but this is not everything. Not of you. course, it's not everything <laughs> because this is really a truly grand complication because when you turn the watch, you have an incredible minute repeater that uh, shows. Of course, it's in an incredible case made of almost 80 components. Uh, every piece is, uh, uh, you know, it's not a block, it's every piece is brought back and you have a beautiful minute repeater at the back. So you see uh, the hammers that are on top of each other that beautifully sound with the trebuchet mechanism uh, that is patented, fully patented by Gégère Lecoultre, meaning the uh, hammers are on actually on two axes, like little catapults. They would uh, retrieve 100% or almost 100% of the energy that is brought to them. We have also the gongs that are attached to the crystal of the, the watch. Let me show this. In this here. little, yes, exactly. So this is welded to the crystal. Uh, and the gongs, they are cathedral, meaning that they go all over the case more than one time uh, to really uh, create uh, an extraordinary sound uh, for, this, uh, for, this, for this watch, which is truly a grand complication, as I said, associating a tourbillon, uh, celestial complication, and a minute repeater. There we go. Here is how we activate the minute repeater. We will record of course, but we will reset the watch to 12.59 to re really make it chime as often as it can. <laughs> we'll chime 12 times the hours, three we'll times the quarters, and 14 times the minutes. So you really get the full spectrum of what is possible. This is a flying tourbillon? This is a flying tourbillon, yes. Completely flying tourbillon. It's flying over the beautiful dial, uh, which is made of enamel also. I didn't tell you this, Alexander. The dial is made of enamel, which is, of course, all made inside of our manufacturer. And we've used a very uh, sophisticated technique for enamel, which is called grisaille enamel. Uh, grisaille means grayish in French. And this grisaille is actually a, a, a dark base of enamel upon which we build layers of white, which are each time fired. And you are beautifully bringing out the three-dimensionality here of the, the enamel that we've created with those beautiful planets and, and uh, elements that are really bringing out the three-dimensionality of the style. So I already asked Mathieu before we started filming what planets we uh, see here. So these are planets, but it's not specifically, uh, yeah, we can't, it, it's, it's, this could be, or looks like the moon, the other planets. It's more like a design, an interpretation yeah. of the celestial um, sky for the Stella Odyssey, which is the theme of Gégère Le Coultre, new watches and clocks this year. So now comes the interesting part. So what I'm doing now or what I will do now is we pulled out the crown in the first position and then we will start turning that you see what we have been talking first and you will see that the dial... So you see that the dial actually performs a rotation as Alexander is activating the crown. We see the dial that is actually performing a rotation along the rotation of, of the Earth. So this is going in the different opposite direction as the hands. The dial is performing this, uh, this rotation. It's following the ro sense of rotation of the Earth, which is actually uh, counterclockwise. So the tourbillon is really attached to this uh, dial movement. The flying tourbillon is following this. So we can even say maybe that the tourbillon is the sun in this, uh, in this watch that is actually following the, uh, the sense of rotation of the, uh, the beautiful sky, night sky over the, the Vallée de Joux. And once, as we just said before, once uh, you have visibility to the sky and you would use the watch at night, you will have to line it up in north, south or south north direction. And then when you look up, what you see on the, on the dial is what you are going to see in the sky. Exactly. So you need a compass, you line it up, you head, you look south with the watch and then you start 
turning it like this, and then you will have literally, yeah, the sky. To, the, to align the north and south that are indicated yeah. on the dial. But then what you see in, the, in between the ellipse here is exactly what you will see in the sky. Um, I've been turning the watch upside down to show you one prominent celestial constellation. And this is the Great Bear you see here. I think this is something most of us have already seen in the sky. And we always look for it. Yeah, it's and with this watch, you can actually find it. So the Great Bear, Ursae Major, in the Latin name of a, a constellation. So when you're looking for constellations, you can actually find it really easily and impress yeah. everybody. So now we are going to set the watch to um, 12.59 and let it chime and tape you the incredible sound. So here are the hammers and I now will activate the minute repeater. Correct. 12.59. I've been counting 14. Uh, uh, the minute hammer counted 14. We had both hammers indicating three quarter of an hour and we had the hour hand, uh, the hour hammer indicating 12. So it's 12.59. 12.59. Incredible sound. Sounds like a jukebox. <laughs> yes, you don't have to put your head around the, wow. the watch to hear it chime. It's loud. Yeah. Cameraman just said it's loud. He's wearing headsets and he's now... <laughs> <laughs> he's now tilt. <laughs> Too loud. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. So if you're questioning now, how uh, do you know um, if the sky you see actually is midnight or noon. You see the hands, I've been setting them to 12 o'clock. Um, you have to focus on the sun. The sun is now exactly located at six o'clock on your screen where there's written 12. And uh, if I start turning, you see the sun moves in the direction of 14, meaning two o'clock, 16, meaning four o'clock, etc., etc., and then, and then you will know that this is going to be six o'clock in the evening. You see the sun has reached, here I will show, I will point it to you. The sun has reached 18, it is here, and continues to move on, depending in which direction I turn, of course, and you see the sun moving, Point it out here. Here it is again. You see, now we have it in the in the picture. It's 16. Yeah, now we see it. 16. And you see, when I continue to move, it is going at towards 8 o'clock in the in the evening. And now, depending on where you are, of course, and uh, when uh, night falls and it's getting dark and you have visibility on the sky, this is what you are going to see. I just wanted to repeat that one again, once again. Now we are at 9 o'clock in the evening, 10 o'clock even in summer should be good and now assuming it's 10 o'clock in the evening here in that elliptical aperture once again I want to explain that here what you see here is what you definitely see on the sky if you are in the area of Geneva in the area of uh, La Vallée de Joux where um, Jean-Jacques Le Coult has its home base its headquarter so this is what you actually see in the sky if you're aligned if you're aligned north-south, then you look on the watch, you look in the sky, and this is what you see. Incredible. Very beautiful. Mathieu. Very poetic. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Wow. And in a way, in a little bit, um, the, yeah, as you said, the sun is more or less, or the tourbillon represents more or less. The sun. Yeah. Beautiful. 
Oof. Um, such a marvel um, is manufactured five times uh, only, or will be manufactured five times only. Um, the lucky ones who will be able to get one, what will they be paying for? 450,000 euros, excluding tax. Excluding so tax. So that's the world for price for 50. 570 components. Again, 500? 70 components, all made in house and beautiful decoration all over. And I also want to show you this. <clears throat> Absolutely, this is already this construction here with that micro length adjustment you have here. Which is fully patented. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Telling everything. Look, it is a folding clasp. You open up. But what you have here, and if you look closely, you have two little wheels, one here, one here. And by turning them, you can do a micro length adjustment of, of the strap. Of so the strap. So if it is getting uncomfortable due to temperature, you turn and you have it is moving. Right? I will try to show you that. Perfect. Micro length adjustment. Super, super beautiful. <laughs> wow. Part of the watch, a folding clasp, of course, but to adjust the length, you use this little mechanism integrated in the folding clasp. So here you see the pin, right here is the pin, and watch it when I'm turning on the wheel, or rollers as they call it, and you will see, look, it moves forward and backward. With gloves, this is all, ah, here you see, this is what you have and what you can use to adjust the length of the strap if you're wearing it. And already this little um, construction has how many parts? Uh, around 20, a little bit more than 20 parts. Can you imagine? It. And it's fully patented by Gégard Le Coultre, of course. Look, ah, no, this, oh, wait, this is a good, I get it here, look. Turn. Yeah, you see it perfectly. Here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm trying. It's, it's not easy, huh? It's not easy, no. Yeah, it's not yeah. easy to show on camera. <laughs> and with, with gloves, look. And you turn and you have here, this is, yep. Last view on the watch. Mathieu, thank you very much for presenting me, or us, us, I have to say, this marble. Can you name the watch? Hybris Artistica, calibre uh, 945. 945. This was an existing movement already. This was if an existing movement that we've enhanced with superior level of finishings mm -hmm. on the case and for the first time at Gégard Le Coult, the grisaille enamel that we've used yeah. in this beautiful setting to make it a perfect stellar piece. Look at it again, it will disappear and only five pieces are made. So it's not very likely that uh, one of us in our life, maybe Mathieu, because he will be in charge of servicing the watch once when he comes back to the Vallée de Joux in a couple of years, maybe he will have the, he will be one of the lucky ones to see it again, but we won't. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Um, watch, um, we are reporting live from Watches and Wonders. This is a wonder, I would say. We have been looking for wonders all the week long, and here is one of the wonders <laughs> of Watches and Wonders. And uh, yeah, bravo. Thank you very much, Alexander. Thanks for watching. Comments are welcome. And questions, of course, I will probably not be able to answer them, so I will pass them on to Mathieu. <laughs> if you have uh, really uh, tough questions, I will have to pass them on. But they're welcome, of course, and I will give you these answers when I'm back home then. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned on Watch Your Eyes on YouTube. Much more to come from Geneva. Bye-bye.